Okay, my name is Jacob Struxma. I am a member of the Transit Riders Union and I'm on the vice chair of the Pedestrian Riser Board. And um, I, transit is very important. It's the lifeline of many blind people and many people with disabilities. Their only option to get around, they don't have an option to take a car. Uh, lots of us blind people and people with disabilities live in the city, live in the county because that's where the transit is uh, and the jobs are and uh, people need that option. It's, it's how I get around and everybody sits around. Um, it's very important. Uh, if transit's not running, that really messes everybody else up, but also very important to us people that don't have that choice or the option. And I don't think it's f right or fair to take that way, away that transit. Why should I have to wait an hour or two hours to go somewhere? If I want to visit a friend or go to the store or, or hang out or come to my community meetings, be involved. I can't do anything if the transit doesn't run. You know? It's very, it's an independence. Uh, I'm a member of the National Federation of Blind and some other organizations of Feet First and Transit, different groups. And not uh, being able to do that would really, really be suffering and make life not fun or activity, you know. I can't get to the beach. I can't do anything because the bus is not running. And I can walk some, but walking 10 miles or 100 miles is a long way to go somewhere, you know. And if the bus isn't running, it's, it's really frustrating. Right now I have uh, lots of buses and they run every half an hour all day long. Actually there's a bus that runs even during the middle of the night. It's great. But um, if this happens, it's uh, I'm going to have to do a lot of walking or I will have to stay home. And Neither of those are always uh, that great an option. So it's really a shame that our Senate does not get this. And I don't understand why they don't get it. Maybe it's because they don't ride the bus or they're stuck in the still in Olympia in the old days. Um, the, part of the reason that lots of jobs are happening because of the transit. I have several friends that have moved from other states to come to Seattle because that's where the transit is for and the, where the jobs are happening right now. So um, we need it to be working harder. And Olympia really needs to give us this option because we got to have options for funding. And also, um, at our initiatives, got to stop killing our transit and our funding options. That's part of the problem. And voters need to start realizing what's funding transit, sales tax, and uh, car tab, a certain percentage of that which is going away, the $20. But transit's not free. I have no problem paying for some of it, but it's a good service that everybody has to have, just like water and electricity. We need to have transit. So I really... Um, you know, and I, I grew up in the country where it's, it's the road, you have to drive it anywhere. And I live in the city because that's where the buses are. So there are certain places where, where transit is needed and there are certain places where there, there's only those options. So um, the Olympia needs to really get an understanding and we need to get more people here in Seattle and the county and the Olympia and the state to be on board and to make us, give us the option of funding. We need to fund transit. We need more transit, not less. So, uh, who all took a bus to get here? See, that's a lot of people. We could pull several buses. So, Olympia, you've got to quit saying, oh, people, the buses aren't full. Yes, they are. They're, they're full all the time. I, the bus actually get stuck in traffic because there are bus lanes, which we need. We need to have choices for everybody, not just for people that drive. So that's, you know, transits are our life breed of the city and the county and the state. And uh, let's, let's work hard. We need to get, write an email, call, go down to Olympia, do whatever we can do, but let's get this funded so we don't have to cut our buses. Yeah.